stress modeling thinking tool today. In today's presentation, I will be presenting a blockchain-based tool that helps brainstorm during the stress modeling process. This is the author's introduction. I'm Shinjo Park, currently studying at Korea University's master's program. Since 2016, I have been interested in blockchain and have been researching and investing. Also, I'm interested in stress modeling, general knowledge proof, and blockchain. And I like to research and invest in undervalued cryptocurrencies. Here's my corresponding author. This is Sungju Kim, a professor at Korea University's Graduate School of Information Security. He is the founder of Seek Insight and a member of the Black and Azure Web Board. He is interested in inherent secure, high assurance, and probably secure systems and architectures. Table of Contents After the introduction, I will explain the system model, process, and smart contract of the tool I built, and then we will show you how to solve the security issues that may exist in this tool. Followed by demonstration, let me wrap up the presentation. The first is introduction. What is blockchain as a stress modeling thinking tool? In short, it is a stress modeling tool using blockchain for brainstorming. First, let's talk about stress modeling. Stress modeling is a systematic way to identify stress that might compromise security, which has been a very accepted practice by the industry. Here, Adam Schuster, the person in this picture, also wrote a book on stress modeling and sought various methods to derive the best stress modeling result. One of the methods he devised is a card game called Elevation of Privilege. The paper on the right is EOP. This game is released online as shown in the image below. And it helps various participants to perform stress modeling like a team sport. He gamified stress modeling to induce users to brainstorm. EOP is not the only case where stress modeling can be performed like a team sport. Personae non grata and security cards also induced users' participation so that stress modeling could be performed like a team sport in a different way. However, these cases are limited to gamification. Is there any other to encourage participation? I thought it would be good to combine stress modeling with a blockchain in a way that provides incentives. So I checked this to see if there are any examples of cybersecurity in the design stage in the field of blockchain cybersecurity. Companies in the existing blockchain cybersecurity field are mainly putting effort to find vulnerability in the implemented code. And there has been no case putting effort to design secure model in the design stage. Other than that, I could not find similar cases in papers and patents. Therefore, this tool is the first case of using blockchain for secure design. The next chapter is the system model. I will explain the overall structure while explaining each component. First, customer. Customer is a person or company who is requesting stress modeling by providing data such as the FD or architecture to a security consultant. The contract performed by the 
customer with the security consultant is made out of side of the blockchain. In order to prevent a security incident caused by disclosing the architecture or DFD in a public place, the company name and the scope of the architecture disclosure uh, should be made clear when proceeding with the contract. Next is security consultant. Security consultant is a security consultant who contracts with customer. A security consultant can be an individual, uh, a company, or even not an actual security consultant. Anyone with a certain number of cryptocurrencies can become a security consultant. And security consultant post tasks that require stress modeling analysis. Also, to increase uh, the participation of the stress modeling performers and prevent unfair issues, he deposits cryptocurrencies into smart contracts so that they can't be recovered before the deadline. Next is Arbiter. Arbiter is elected by vote of security consultant among the participants. The reason that only security consultants are allowed to participate in voting is to prevent civil attacks. The purpose of Arbiter is to prevent malicious behavior that may occur during the threat monitoring process. In order to prevent the tragedy of the commons, only participants who have a certain number of threat monitoring tokens can run as a Arbiter candidate. is the stress modeling performer. It is a community that conducts stress modeling analysis to receive reward. To prevent distributed denial of service attack and severe attack, each performer is required to deposit cryptocurrency in a smart contract to participant in task. Anyone, for example, a customer, secret consultant, or even an arbiter, can be a stress modeling performer. Next is client. Client is a user interface that acts as a intermediate, intermediately uh, between a secret consultant and stress modeling performer. The client run locally on the user's per personal computer without relying on a central server like, uh, like Bitcoin Core on the Bitcoin blockchain. Finally, the blockchain network and miners. The blockchain network acts as a decentralized server and each miner seeks the sixth, the maximum benefit, stabilizing the network and preventing severe attacks. As explained, the overall model is a method in which when an analysis request is received by a security consultant, he posts the task through the client and the stress modeling performers are assigned to uh, perform the task. The next chapter is the process. Let me explain the process divided into two. One is basic process 
and the other is REST modeling process. The basic process focuses on how the task proceeds when the task is progressed, evaluated, and reordered in the system model. The stress modeling process is a process that occurs between the fourth receive task and the fifth submit task and deal with how to receive a reward according to contribution when performing the stress modeling task. The basic process proceeds in the following order register user, program update, post work, receive work, submit work, arbitration, receive reward. And here, program update is in step 2, uh, but it is a process that occurs naturally after uploading data to the blockchain network. And on a nutshell, user register, receive pub publish it, work, submit, and evaluate. Then, whether there is uh, any unreasonable part of the evaluation and is evaluated. The following is the stress modeling process. The stress modeling process draws the FD and identify assets. Collect the attack library, identify threats, write an attack scenario, assess the risk, develop mitigation measures. Process in order. First of all, the app D stands for the diagrammatic representation of the internal data flow of the system to be analyzed. Here, since the customer can provide the architecture or the, the DFT. Mm, two modes are needed. One that draws the DFT based on the architecture and one that does not. When the deadline is reached, the security consultant revise and finalize the final version of the DFT and identifies the asset. Contribution and rewards for participation, participating in DFT task are determined according to pre-agreed scoring system. For each item, uh, the more recent, recent participation, the higher the level of DFT contributed, the greater the reward. The next is collect the attack library. Attack library stands for the collection and classification of various data describing possible threats and in the system to be analyzed. The reward for collecting the attack library is given to the first person who collected it. And the more Frequently, the collected auto library is uh, used in the future, future stress identification and auto creation, creation. Uh, and the higher the CBS, CBSS score, the greater the reward. And if the performer collects incorrect information, it will be deducted from the deposit. If a stress modeling performer wants to report a zero-day vulnerability, he or she should negotiate separate, separately with the secu security consultant. The next is stress identification. Stress identification is using stress modeling technique to identify threats inherent in the system to be analyzed. There are many other stress modeling techniques, but this article was written based on 
the most commonly used stride. Other techniques will be added later for use in the tool. Stress identification rewards are awarded only to those who participated in the most recent valid remediation. The next step is to create an attack scenario. Writing an attack scenario is the process that visually expresses the detailed process an attacker takes to achieve the end goal. Each stress modeling performer partially participated in the creation of a tech scenario. Rewards will be awarded to those who participated in the most recent meaningful writing. The fifth is risk assessment. A variety of methods can be used to assess risk, but this tool uses DREAD. Because risk is subjectively evaluated factor, uh, it is decided by the votes of members. And the voting weight of stress modeling performers and security consultants are different. Security consultants have a higher weight and stress modeling performers have a lower weight. And the deadline is rigid, uh, the risk ranking according to the evaluation is announced. And all the members who participated in it will receive a bigger reward the smaller the difference from the final voting results. The last step is to come up with mitigation measures. Mitigation measures can be evaluated subjectively. The level of mitigation measures is evaluated as low, middle, and high, and compensation is paid accordingly. If a new threat arises due to mitigation measures, the consultant considered it and performed threat modeling again. The next chapter is contract. Smart contracts are typically divided into three categories registration contract, proper contract, task contract. They are called RC, PC, and TC for short. Let me explain each contract. The registration contract is a contract that register users to the blockchain network without distinguishing between stress modeling performer and security consultant. Profit contract is created through this contract. Profit contract is a contract that display information about a user and a list of tasks being performed. It is a structure in which several task contracts are connected to the proper contract. Let's look at the details of each contract. First, the registration contract contains a random ID assigned to individual, a blockchain hash address, and the address of the proper contract. Next, in the proper contract, you can check the blockchain address, the user's profile, the arbiter state indicating whether the user is an arbiter, and the user reputation value and task risk. The task risk shows the ID of the task, the address of the contract, and the state of the task. Finally, the task contract contains the blockchain address, the current task status, 
the deposit and evaluation of this task and the task ID and task pointer to access the, the data stored in distributed storage and there is public key item that shows the newly issued public key so that only qualified people can access the encrypted content with the private key. This is how the contract of these two works. Let me explain it from two perspectives, arbiter voting and the stress modeling task. Register and voting on the left are the names of the algorithm used. The process is as follows. Two people, a stress modeling performer and security consultant, register. RC is updated. And a new PC is created. Of this, only security consultants participate in the voting. Voting records are recorded on the blockchain. The PC is updated and the arbiter is elected. This is a process related to the stress modeling task. Similarly, on the left is the name of the algorithm. The stress modeling performer and consultant register. The RT is updated. And the PC is created. And when the security consultant does a posting task, a TC is created. And when the stress modeling performer receives the task, the TC is updated. Submit. Evaluated and rewarded after arbitration. What is special about the process is that the task contents are stored in the distributed stories during the submission and evaluation process. The next chapter is security issues. What if malicious partitions exist? Various security issues can exist. So it is important to design to prevent them. Malicious participants can be classified into three groups. Security consultant, stress modeling performer, minor. Here, the arbiter is excluded from the malicious participant because he suffers the most easy attack network. A malicious secret consultant can be performed um, can perform a first report attack that uh, deliberately gives a low score in order to not properly reward the submitted work. She may also attempt to break the blockchain protocol by colluding with miners. Next, the uh, malicious stress modeling performer can perform a free riding attack then receives only rewards without doing anything or like a security consultant can try to break the blockchain protocol by colluding with miners. Finally, malicious miner can possibly fork the blockchain providing only the solution and uh, rolling back the paid reward or prevent the tool from work proper properly. It is the content of this chapter to explain how this problem has been addressed. There are three security assumptions. The security of the blockchain is maintained, rewards are transmitted securely, and stress modeling work is 
securely encrypted and stored. Let me explain briefly about item 1. Assuming that the security of the blockchain is maintained, we call it as honest majority assumption. The proof of this content refers to the blockchain backbone protocol shown in the low, lower right corner. And there are numerous rema, but I will omit the content and explain the main point. Quality of concentration of random variables in typical execution is called epsilon. And advantage of honest parties is called sigma. And the number of parties mining is called n. And the number of parties controlled by the adversary is called t. At this time, the probability that T out of n parties is hostile to the blockchain is that when sigma is greater than 3f plus 3 epsilon and less than or equal to 1. T is less than or equal to the product of 1 minus sigma and n minus t. To put this simply, because it seems difficult, it means that the number of hosted people will always be less than the number of well intentioned participants when the incentives for well intentioned participants are above a certain level. The detailed proof is included in the paper at the bottom right. Here's I listed security assumption briefly. Now let me explain the security issues that exist. There are a total of five security problems that I have solved. First, reporting and free writing attack, personal information and leakage problem, DDoS and civil attack, trusted worker selection problem, SPO app. How to prevent first reporting and free writing attacks? The first reporting attack is a deliberately low score for a task that a security consultant have written well in order to give a small reward. To prevent such problems, an arbiter, arbiter elected by voting among security consultants check the Evaluation of all stress modeling tasks and mediate for items that are malicious ability low. And a free writing attack is to get a reward without participa participating in any work. To prevent this attack, the stress modeling performer can participate in the task only by deposing a certain amount or more in the blockchain. These two methods can successfully prevent false reporting and pre-writing attack. Since the address used in this tool uses anonymous address, addresses such as Bitcoin, the problem of personal information risks can be resolved from the perspective of maintaining anonymity. Next, the DDoS problem can be resolved through the P that must be paid to use the blockchain network. In addition, the cyber network problem can be resolved through a deposit algorithm using a time-locked protocol, where once a deposit is made, the amount cannot be returned until the expiration date. Selecting trusted performers is an important issue because untrusted stress modeling performer can ruin the task. This problem is solved through the reputation algorithm. 
A set of reputation value is a finished set that range from 0 to the maximum reputation value x. xn stands for reputation value of stress modeling performer n. A stands for average of all stress modeling performer reputation values. Here, the condition for the value of A is to utilize a method of using social norms to control workers mentioned in reputation-based incentive protocol in crowd social application at the bottom right. That's it. If the evaluation results is high and my evaluation value is higher than the average value, the reputation value rise up to just before the maximum value. If my evaluation is higher and the average but the evaluation result is low, my reputation will decrease. If my evaluation value is the same as the average value and the evaluation result is low, reputation does not change. If your reputation is lower than the average, increase it by 1. Through the reputation value, uh, calculate through this method. Only trusted participants can participate in the task by making it possible for only participants with, uh, with reputation values above a certain standard to participate in the task. When at least three or more N miners exist in the blockchain and more than half are honest, the majority honest security assumption holds. And since this tool is designed with a P2P architecture, it can be said that this tool has no SPOF. Thus, we have presented solution to all five security problems. Now, here's a demo video and future work. And finally, I will say take a, a takeaway and finish the presentation. The final chapter is demo and takeaway. Let's see a simple demo video. I will show the main function. The rest are currently being implemented. This is the main screen. There is a conflict between the functions currently being implemented. So only the function that shows the contract address after user registration is implemented. This is the main homepage. I'm going to hit the login button. Membership registration and login functions. Even if the server is hacked, the reward is stored in the blockchain address and access is only possible with the private key that is briefly shown when registering users. So it is a safe structure. I would like to register as a member. Put ID and password. Register button. If you wait for a long, uh, if you wait for a while, uh, message appear indicating that the address when registry has been completed. Registration is completed. It seems that the private key passed too quickly, but we plan to implement it properly in the future. You can check the previously described ID, RC address, my Ethereum address, PC address, proper content, and arbitrary status. The task risk is empty because there are no current tasks. The menu includes post a task, available task list, 
and my task. The menu for consultant and performers is divided and it is designed to be inaccessible if you do not have permission. The same goes for the voting and arbitration button. Other menus are currently temporarily blocked due to crash issues. I log out and log in again. the ID and password and login and you can see that it is the same screen all this data is uploaded on the blockchain thank you there are two types of future work first of all there is a cost problem that arises from the blockchain fee where where further research is needed. To solve this problem, you need uh, to consider layer 2 of Ethereum or other platform. In addition, scalability or security issues that may arise when storing pile in distributed storage should be considered. In addition, various future work will exist. It's a takeaway. There are a total of three things that I think are worth referring to when applying them in practice. First, because the best results are obtained when the stress modeling work is performed like a team sport. When a team performs stress modeling tools such as EOP are used or it is carried out in a way that can be brainstormed together. The second is something to keep in mind when designing a blockchain service. As always, you should always design your blockchain service to avoid the tragedy of the commons. Use proven consensus algorithm and reward and evaluation algorithm. Finally, advice on implementation since the service is implemented using the blockchain, it is necessary to take into account the numerous security problems caused by the block creators and the numerous participants. As mentioned below, there are various problems such as DDoS and cyber attack. The presentation ends here. If you have any question about this presentation at any time, please feel free to contact us at the email address below. Thank you.